Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Crystal Vision 1111. This is a general love reading for the collective. Not all of the messages that come through in this reading today may apply to everyone watching. So please only take in from this reading what speaks to your soul and what resonates for you and your situation and release the rest to the universe. Please don't worry about me. Your person, of course, you're going to worry about them, but you're also worried that they're not going to be able to get it together. But what they're saying here is that there's no need to worry because they are doing what they need to do during this time that you're apart. They are going through the transformation that they need to go through. But it is very hard for you not to worry. Just surrender this connection to the universe and allow it to do what it needs to do. Because you are in each other's lives for a reason and your person knows this. You have a destiny to fulfill with each other that is yet to be fulfilled. There's more to this story with this person. It is not over and your person knows this. They're asking you not to worry about them and to try not to worry about this connection, to focus on you, which is where your focus needs to be at the moment, because you're going through your own transformation during this time that you're in separation from your person. Let's see what else we need to know for this love reading. What does the collective need to know about this person? I know you always tried your best. And you know what? You always gave 200% to your person and they are acknowledging it. And they may not have expressed their gratitude in the past about how much you gave to them, but they truly appreciate it. And you will see from them as they start reaching out to you how they are truly thankful for everything that you have done, for your patience, for your support, for your unconditional love, and for your caring of them and for the changes that they are going through. And your person also recognizes that they didn't give you their best and they know that they can do better. And they're ashamed of themselves for not giving you the best of who they are. They feel some regret and remorse for that and they want to show you that they can do their best with you, which is why they want to apologize and start rebuilding this connection with you. You will see your person's best effort with you. They will show you through words and actions how they love you. They will put forth more effort and energy into this connection than you can possibly even imagine at the moment. They know that they've got to find that power within them to put forth the effort and energy necessary to sustain and maintain this kind of spiritual connection. And they will do it. They will give you their best because you know why? You are worth it. And your person wants to show you that they are now worthy of you and of your love. What else do we need to know for this love reading today? What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? I will come back to you when I know I won't make the same mistakes again. Yeah, see, your person does not want to make these same mistakes. They want to be there for you 200%, just like you have been for them. They know that they didn't give you their best. They know that they did things that dishonored you and dishonored this connection. In terms of their actions and behaviors that were low vibration energies, for the harsh words that they said to you, for things that came out of their mouth in that moment of anger, but yet they didn't retract it. They don't want to make these same mistakes again. They don't want to run. They don't want to ghost. They don't want to deny the connection. They want to be here full on with you because you gave them your best and they want to reciprocate that to you. Let's see what else we need to know for this love reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? My karmic knows I don't love them. Now, please only take this card 
and what I'm about to say, if you absolutely know for sure that your person has a karmic situation. I'm not telling you that your person is now involved in a karmic, okay? But for those of you who has, whose person is involved in a karmic situation, and yes, there are some of those out there that watch this channel, they know, your person's karmic knows that your person does not love them. But their karmic is holding on for dear life, creating dysfunction and toxic behavior in their connection because they want this person to stay with them. But your person does not want to stay with this karmic. They are finding that strength and power within them to kick the karmic to the curb because your person doesn't want to make the same mistakes with you that they have made in the past. And if this karmic interfered in your connection with this person, which that is what a karmic will do because they are toxic and dysfunctional, your person is not going to allow that to happen anymore. It's bye-bye karmic. Once and for all, your person is finding the self-confidence, the courage, and the strength to get rid of this karmic, which for those of you who are in karmic situations, your person needs to do that. Let's see what else we need to know for this love reading today, please. What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? I want us to live together. Your person sees a future with you and they envision what that would look like. Now, living together is sharing a home together. So your person does see longevity in this connection with you. And perhaps it will involve marriage. Perhaps it's a domestic partnership. Whatever resonates for you and the kind of relationship you and your person decide to have. But the point here is your person sees this as long term. They can see this long term connection with you unfolding in their mind. They envision what this future with you would look like because they know the two of you belong together and they know that you have a very strong, powerful connection with each other. What else do we need to know for this love reading today, please? What does the collective need to know about this person and this connection? The Two of Swords. This is about your person making a decision about them taking action. And your person's decision is to start reaching out and communicating with you. The Two of Swords is about two-way communication. But it also tells us that things have been at a stalemate between you and your person for some time, especially in no contact and separation situations. But this is about your person making a decision for love starting to reach out to you to bridge the gap that's here and then start rebuilding this connection. What else do we need to know for this love reading today, please? What do we need? Well, the five of pentacles. This tells us that your person does feel lost without you. They feel left out in the cold, but they also acknowledge that they have left you out in the cold. What is interesting about the Five of Pentacles is your person is, it's a card of worry. Your person is actually worried that you may not be willing to forgive them, that you may not give them another chance. But the Five of Pentacles is also about a change. And pentacles or coins are about assets. So this is telling us your person is thinking about this change in residence. It is about a change in residence between you and this person because they want you to live together in the same home because your person sees longevity with you. This is your reading for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reading, please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Have a great day, everyone.